So I have to admit that my own instinct when I'm designing TIR projects is a bit shallow. Uh, I am laser focused on the outcome. Do my students learn better? Um, I rarely take it to that next level of asking why they might be learning better, uh, why my intervention might have improved student learning. Derek, I know you think deeply about this kind of thing, so tell us more about one of your, your TAR projects where you were able to dig into that why. Okay, um, so in the module on the flipped classroom, I talked about my project exploring pre-class reading questions. So in my flipped classroom, I have students read the textbook before class. Um, I ask them some open-ended questions about the reading to help guide their reading. And I wanted to know, were there particular types of pre-class reading questions that would help my students get more out of the reading? So I designed this little experiment and I found that um, some data that said that the uh, pre-class reading questions that were more computational in nature helped my students get more out of the reading than questions that were more conceptual in nature, which actually kind of surprised me um, because I had done some kind of background reading on this and most of the experts said that you want to ask students kind of big picture questions to help them, to help orient them to the reading. But in my case, it was the more computational applied questions that seemed to help them more. So um, I wanted to know kind of why that might be, right? And so I can't say that I kind of dug into it in a rigorous way, but I, but I did ask my students. So, um, and this is an interesting thing you can sometimes do with your TAR projects. I, I took the data from my project and on the last day of class, I shared it back to my students. Um, it might have given them a little insight into their own learning, but I really wanted to know kind of why they thought the computational questions worked better than the conceptual questions. And they gave me two hypotheses that I think are, are reasonable. Um, one is that they were a bunch of engineering students and they like very concrete applied ways of learning, right? Uh, which made some sense. And the other was that the textbook itself kind of lent itself to more computational uh, uh, questions than conceptual questions. Um, and so, like I say, I, I don't know that I kind of studied the why, but I was really curious about the why and my students' responses gave me some ideas for my next project where I could try to dig into the, the why question a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So while you were talking just now, Derek, I was struck again by um, the different ways in which you and I approach our teaching as research projects um, and how that can be explained by our disciplinary training. So I am trained as an engineer and I like to solve problems. I like concrete applied things. Um, so my training really has taught me to, in a way, to, to stop there, to say, you know, this works, it improves student learning, let's move on. Um, a more basic science researcher like you might naturally step into the why question, at least you know, taking it to the point of asking your students and then designing even another iterative TAR project like you do. Um, so this would be a great time for you all to do some self-reflection on how your own disciplinary research training might affect how you're approaching your TAR project. That's a really cool observation, Trina. And I think one of the powers of teaching and research is that we can bring our own kind of disciplinary lenses to the classroom and to the work that we do there. So uh, next week in the course, uh, we have our final peer graded assessment. Um, so you'll get a chance to put a lot of these ideas into practice and design your own teaching as research project and get some feedback from your peers. Mm -hmm.